I have been spammed with requests to do a dedicated video on Hero Contre ever since it came to North America and Europe on May 26th. People have been claiming that this game is the next big RPG of 2020. And you know what? That is what we're here to take a look at today. Before we go any further though, do let me preface this by stating that this is sponsored. If you're interested in downloading the game, you can go ahead and click that link in the description and the pinned comment below to be taken right to the download. So this is the very first time I have seen anything like this in a mobile game ever. I can understand where the term webtoon comes into play here. We begin the game with a very, very cool introduction featuring comic book-esque panels appearing progressively throughout the course of the intro. Then we're met with a freaking badass anime opening. Like seriously guys, I'm just gonna let this play for a second. Look and listen to how amazing this sounds. <laughs> Yeah, I have never seen anything like this in a mobile game before. I mean, you know, I like I've I've seen openings like this, but never this whole web comic followed by a anime opening and then transitioning into what we're about to see next. After all of that is said and done, we get a cutscene that explains the history of the game, showcases various different NPCs, all of which look very, very appealing to say the least. And then we're thrown into the game. After the tutorial, we gain access to a plethora of different features. From the few hours I played, I stuck mostly to the story and the arenas. They were the two aspects of the game that I most enjoyed. But then again, I am a huge fan of PvP, and any game that allows me to PvP, I thoroughly enjoy. You're capable of upgrading each of your heroes, making them progressively more powerful, farming gear and items to enhance your experience, you know, the norm. Since this is a hero collector, you can bet there are a ton of heroes to collect. I managed to get just enough to make my very own harem of waifus, and I spent every single form of currency I had to make sure that they were upgraded adequately. Which, you know what, is actually something I would like to make a note of here. Like, seriously, this game is hard. I wiped repeatedly at a certain point because my heroes just weren't strong enough. I'd upgraded them all to level 30, yet continued to wipe repeatedly. I proceeded to farm the materials I needed to continue to upgrade my characters beyond level 30, and I farmed a bunch of gear to further improve their stats. But if you're going to go into this with the impression that it's going to be just another easy RPG, I can assure you you are definitely mistaken. Granted, it could also be because I didn't use the correct roster of characters, but in the grand scheme of things, this is what makes games like this fun, right? Using whatever characters you prefer. Speaking of wiping, the combat system is pretty unique from the hundred or so mobile games I've played over the last year. In Hero Contra, combat is turn-based and not just the select your skill, let the enemy select their skill, rinse and repeat. Nope. In this game, you have little cards at the bottom of the screen. Cards? I don't know, I'm, I'm a say cards here because that's what they most resemble to me. You can stack them atop one another, increasing not only the power of your abilities, but also providing access to new abilities entirely. The bottom left of your screen shows how many cards you can use per turn. So if I opt to stack three of the same hero's abilities atop one another, I can either choose three more single stack cards or a single two stack and a one stack. Trust me, this all makes a lot more sense when you're in game experiencing this firsthand. I really am not doing the combat system as much justice as I could be, but it is pretty damn unique from what I've experienced. The abilities themselves also look really good as do the graphics overall. I'm a huge fan of 2D animations like this, both in combat, the web comics, and the cutscenes. It all meshes really well together in a way that I wasn't aware could even potentially work. And trust me, there is a lot of it to experience. There is an absolute surplus of story to make your way through, which, you know what, is always a plus for me. If you've watched any of my videos, you would know I am a huge sucker for story in my games, especially in RPGs. While the game did launch on the 26th of May over here, it has been out in South Korea for a while now. It reached over 1 million pre-registrations and has risen up the popularity charts. Hero Contra also features characters from the Tower of God, the God of High School, and hardcore leveling warrior webcomics bringing them together into an amalgamation of awesomeness. If you're interested in trying the brand new RPG out, again, go ahead and use my link in the description and the pinned comment below. Additionally, if you redeem the code Welcome Hero, it'll net you some really sick goodies as well. In-game currency in the form of gems and gold, along with weapons and unique characters. Also, I apologize in advance if I absolutely butchered the name Hero Contra. I know I'm not pronouncing it like nearly as correctly as I could be, but you know what? 
That's about as good as I could get. But you know what? That's just my opinion, my first impressions of the game. What do you think though? Does this look like something you'd be interested in? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Someday soon I'm gonna make it.